drops today. The drops? I'm dropping everything. Cue piano music. Hello, I'm Krisha, I'm 19, and today um, I'm in a different location. I'm in my actual house, and it is currently very late at night, and my sister Kasha is right over there. Um, Hello. <laughs> I'll insert a photo right here for memory's sake, and she is bullet journaling. And her bullet journal Instagram is at Journal Queen on Instagram. There might be a dot. I don't know. And today I'm going to start a new series here on my channel. So on Netflix, for the past like year, I've been watching My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, even though I'm a grown adult. And I actually am a very big fan of the show. So I thought about doing um, makeup tutorials for each of the lead ponies, each of the girls, and when I looked on YouTube, all I saw were like <clears throat> like face paint and costumes and all that, but I've never I didn't see anything of like everyday makeup. So what I've decided is that I'm going to make six videos, one makeup look for each girl. But I thought about this for a while. I'm going to do their makeup as if they were human girls, how they would do their makeup. So each of, cause each of them have their own personality. So today we're going to do the Princess of Friendship, Twilight Sparkle. Yes, Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Princess Kasha. of Friendship! <laughs> Kasha doesn't know anything about the show except for what I've told her. So I'm going to really quickly talk about Twilight Sparkle and why I've decided to do the makeup look I've done. Twilight Sparkle is a giant nerd. That's literally what you learn right off the bat. She lives in a library in the capital of Equestria. And then when she moves to Ponyville, um, she moves into the Ponyville library. And then when she gets her castle, when she becomes the princess of friendship, she is mainly seen in the library. But also, I just love it because there is never a big point about her being so book smart and all of that. It's just who she is. So the makeup look I'm doing today is going to be a glasses look, very quick and very long wearing because she doesn't have time to do makeup, and quite honestly, she just wants to be in her bed reading books with her friend Spike. So that's what we're gonna do today. Do I want this little pineapple sticker? Yes. Look at this little bikini and this little sunscreen sticker! Oh! So as you might be seeing, I have organized my makeup into the enormous makeup case. The thing is, is that nothing's really final yet when it comes to it. So I'm waiting to see um, how I like the final arrangements before I um, show it off to the world. So first we're gonna start off by priming the skin and using a primer water is a really fast way to prime your skin. So we're gonna use MAC Fix Plus. This is gonna be a fun time where we see this is actually my shade. Because in the store, it looks perfect, but coming home, so. That's so true. You never know until it's home. <laughs> if she gone mad, so, she may betray you. <laughs> I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation in F4. Now, I've tried this formula and I absolutely love it, but I had the wrong shade, so hopefully this is the right shade. I'm just applying this to the center of my face because that seems to be the most problematic at this point. T. <laughs> oh my god, the camera. <laughs> what is she freaking out? In the mirror, this looks dead on. Literally in the camera, my face is cherry tomato red and this looks green so the camera is a liar <laughs> filling primer. Oh my god, look at this. Wow. You look flawless. Yeah. 
So now we're gonna move on to brows. So to fill in my brows, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, and we're going to extra do our brows because you need strong brows with strong glasses. So for all of y'all's information, I am very close to done on another dupe list, and I'm actually really excited because this one took a lot, and by a lot, I mean a lot of research and going in and like diving into products. Like this was the first time I really doubted if I could get everything on the list. So I hope y'all are really excited. Also. Um, real quick while I talk, I'm gonna use the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara to just set my brows in place because when Twilight Sparkle is saving all of Equestria, her brows, like... They need to stay locked. She's a princess. You're not a what? She's the princess of friendship. She's not a queen. Yes, princess. I am starting this massive summer project that I am very excited for and will be posting about the progress a lot. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, as you've seen by, you definitely know I'm in Quidditch. And there's one chapter of Goblet of Fire, which is very important and basically is the starting of the end game for Harry Potter. And once I read Harry Potter, I felt that it was awful that this one scene got jit out of the movie. So I decided, hey, I have editing skills. I have acting skills. See? <laughs> what if I just do it myself. So I have started this massive project and I am so excited because it's going to be a huge amount of editing and I love editing so I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my Jeffree Star Thirsty palette and take the color Subtle, which is this lovely transition shade, and I'm just gonna define my crease, like nothing crazy. And if you're feeling a little fancy, you could put a little bit of like a darker brown in there to like really bring it out. But like this is everyday makeup, so just something in there to define the crease. <laughs> song is you know what song is stuck in my head because there are the apples in my pie I thought it was the apples in my eye you're the straw to my berry you're the smoke to my heart and you're the one I want to marry you know what song is stuck in my head what it's summertime <laughs> when it's 60 degrees in New Jersey it's summertime no Santorina I ain't got no crystal ball So I went a little too hard, so I'm living some. No such thing. So I'm living some Uncle Fester realness right now. What? So I'm just gonna blend. What are you talking about? I'm blending out my edges. How do you already look amazing? That would take me like 40 minutes just to get to where you are. Your crease. Wow. Look at that crease. Wow. Okay. I am both intrigued, impressed, and jealous. So now while we're doing eyeliner I am going to bake my whole face so we are baking our entire face yeah so now with the NYX vivid brights eyeliner I'm going to do a very large wing yes. which I'm really excited about Honestly. I really need a camera on you because you are giving me gold sweetheart here's a secret it takes me 10 minutes to put on the eyeliner here's the secret it takes everyone 10 minutes to put on the eyeliner <laughs> Heavy coats of mascara. Um, Voluminous Lash Paradise. I use it every time. It's my only mascara because it's the best. So now we're gonna dust off the bake. I'm going to 
take the ColourPop Pressed Powder Bronzer in Opening Act and just like bronze up the face. Like we're not doing some like chiseling contour, just warming everything up. Yeah, you know, just keeping it chill, keeping it sweet, keeping it simple, keeping it semi-homemade. <laughs> pimples need to be contoured so I'm just gonna take a like a smaller brush this is actually a paintbrush I got at AC Moore oh. but it was like it's so fluffy it literally is fluffy than some morphe brushes I felt so like I bought it argue with me I dare you so I'm just gonna take some of that bronzer and run it down my nose oh fudge sickles it looks like I pooped on my nose let me see oh my god that looks amazing <laughs> keep going keep pooping on that nose don't stop don't believe stop it now, cause I'm having a good time having a good time superstar flying through the sky <laughs> I'm a thousand degrees that's why they call me Mr. Ferret <laughs> so I'm going to take the ColourPop pressed powder blush in why hello in why hello and i'm really going to blush up this face i'm very pink but one of twilight sparkles accent colors is pink so like why not so then actually i'm going to take the ColourPop pressed powder highlighter in angel food now i've talked about this highlighter before the it has a matte pigment of pink, so it looks like blush, but when the light hits it, it's blue. And one of Twilight Sparkle's colors is indigo slash blue. So we're gonna give this a, we're gonna do a little bit. Nothing crazy, I say as I apply a whole dunk onto one cheek. <laughs> So I'm going to take the CoverGirl Outlast Lip Stain, this lasts forever, and just run it on my lips to add a little bit of color to them. Oh wow, yeah, this is exactly what I needed. And then to set this in place forever and ever so that no matter who she's fighting, she is looking fresh Ooh, all day, fighting. I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. great <laughs> oh my god yeah you look amazing i know oh my god <laughs> and that's it this is my twilight sparkle inspired look i absolutely love this i think it's so perfect if especially if you are a person who wears glasses because the eyes are really defined and the makeup still looks great even though you have glasses on which isn't a bad thing Glasses look great on anyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys like me, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. And yeah, have a great night. The worst thing to ever get stuck in my head, and I did not understand why it got stuck in my head, was the edit of um, chocolate from SpongeBob to the stars, to the national anthem. Good afternoon, sir. What do you care for some chocolate? Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Yes, sir. With or without nuts? Chocolate? 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 Like, it's been stuck in my head for weeks. And I don't understand why. My brain was craving those sick beats. <laughs> I'm never gonna say that again in my entire life.